Hey, good morning. How's it going? I hope you can hear me and I'm going to try this thing out because I noticed that some of my videos, they have a really weird muffled sound. So I thought I'd try this little thing. So anyway, good morning. Good morning. Happy Tuesday. I hope you're doing great and it's time for to see what the tarot wants to tell us for today. Today's Tuesday, the 8th of December. Can you believe it? It's already the 8th of December. So let's go ahead and get started with Palo Santo, clearing our space. Ah, I hope everybody's doing well. I'm excited to hear how everybody is. I'm excited to hear what the Tarot wants to say and also the runes. I'm really enjoying getting to know the rune space. But just, you know, I do have a cheat guide here because I don't have them memorized yet. So anyway, so let's start by calling in angels and energies, ancestors, everybody that wants to bless us today, calling in healing angels, calling in angels of love and light. Whoa. Hi, good morning. How are you? So I'm hoping that you're doing well. Good morning. Good morning. Come on in. And let's see how everybody is. So let's see. Let's start with the runes. Let's see what the runes want to say. You just so you know, this is a collective reading, so it may or may not fit. I feel like this one wants to come out first. Hey, hola, bonjour. How, come on, some... I don't know why I'm trying to speak French this day. Disculpa, probando hablar um, Francois. No sé por qué. Okay, so, la primera rune is este. Can you see it? It's X. And este... The rune means, this is an X. There's two that kind of look the same. But I think it's this one. This is talking about, no, it's not that one. It's not this one. It's Gibo. It's for a gift. Buenos dias, como estas, chica? So it's talking about a gift. O regala, también es uh, significa amor, marriage, pareja, amistad, y también generosity. No sé generosity in, uh, in partnerships and love. So that's what our theme is today, to have a relationship with generosity, a relationship with love. Como se dice generosity in Espanol, amiga? So let's see what the yellow deck wants to say. Como estas? Yvette, como estas? Todo bien? All right, so hoy, what is the message? ¿Qué es el mensaje, por favor, Dios, por nosotros? Toda la gente que están mirando ahorita, Y también en la futura, ¿qué es el mensaje por nos, nosotros? Por favor. Ok. Un momento. Solo la más mejor mensaje por todos la gente, por favor. Oh, did you see that one? It flipped around. Generosidad. Este. Gracias. Este rune significa generosidad. Y también, pa, espero, ah, gracias, estoy muy bien, gracias, amiga. Todo está bien. So, la primera, <coughs> excuse, la primera tarjeta está en la ocho, le, the eight of rods. The eight of rods, so it's talking about a block in communication. Someone's not talking. And also, so there's a lack of forward momentum. And then the second card that came out is the Wheel of Fortune. It's talking about the time will change. Time is changing. Luck is changing. But right now, for some reason, there's no forward momentum or there's no communication, lack of action. 
The next card that came out is the Queen of Rods reversed. Oh, wow. The Queen of Rods reversed is someone that's staying to herself. The Queen of Rods reversed is uh, kind of being a homebody. Because the Queen of Rods upright is someone that's the life of the party, the social butterfly. She goes out. She talks. She, she's really open. She's very... Uh, you know, life of the party, she's very generous, she's very open, she's very, uh, the, a social butterfly, does that make sense? Um, she loves to be out and about meeting people, but when she's reversed, that means that she's not getting out, she's staying to herself, she's not feeling good, she doesn't want to talk, she's staying home a lot, and that's interesting because, um, it's hard to be in relationship with people if you're always in your in your own space. You don't get out and talk to people, you know? So that's interesting. So especially with this this rune coming out, this is talking about generosity, talking about love, friendship, gifts, giving gifts to one another, but the gift of love actually, the gift of friendship. So it's a call for us, maybe if you're not speaking to someone, if there's a block in communication with someone, to reach out. And if there's been someone that's not been speaking to us, they're going to, it may change where they're speaking to us because the wheel of fortune is in our favor. Things are going to shift. And there's somebody that's staying to themselves. There's a lack of passion. There's a lack of generosity. There's a lack of... Um, being willing to come out like, uh, oh, wow, look, the five of cups reversed or coins reversed. Somebody is going to come out of this energy. So it's either an invitation for us to come out of that energy. Because look, again, the five of rod, or excuse me, the queen of rods reversed is someone that keeps to herself. She's isolating she's not getting out and about she's not talking to people and it's invitation for us to come out of this energy or somebody else to come out of this energy because look this is the five of coin which implies isolation rejection abandonment uh lack of stability financially it feels like they're abandoned but they're coming out of this energy they're feeling better or it's a call to come out of that energy because, yes, somebody's been isolating. There's a lot of reversals here, but something's going to change because the, the Wheel of Fortune card is here. So tell us more, Spirit. What do we need to know about this? The theme today is about generosity. Definitely. The theme is about being generous. So what is the outcome or the advice, Spirit? That doesn't make sense. Somebody's willing to walk away. Tell us why this is the advice. To move, okay, to move to something that's more, that's too many. The Eight of Cups is talking about somebody walking away to something more, uh, sig not significant, more fulfilling. Wow. Okay, I think I hear this. So if you are the one, that's too many spirit. Okay, so this is the story I'm picking up. And this can be very, uh, you have to just be honest with yourself. Okay, so if you are not moving forward, if there's a lack of, lack of action or a lack of communication, it's time to change or the Wheel of Fortune's asking you to change. Or the luck will turn around for your favor. Because look, right now the Queen of Fire is reversed. She's not doing anything. She's not being passionate. And it's time to come out of feeling abandoned. It's time to come out and the wheel of fortune is changing where you will not feel abandoned anymore. Or, or if you've pushed somebody out, I'm just saying, if you've locked somebody out and you've stopped communicating with someone, well, it's time to shift. Because somebody's feeling isolated and alone. Somebody's feeling isolated and alone, and it's time to come out of that energy. So maybe if you have been 
again, this theme is about being generous. And I hate to say it, but if you've not been generous to someone, it's time to rethink that and not keep people out in the cold. It's sometimes it's, I understand that it's okay to, we have to set boundaries with people. We get it. But it doesn't mean that we totally reject and isolate people, especially if this is family or if you're struggling in a relationship. This is invitation to, I mean, you know what I'm hearing is if you've given somebody a cold shoulder, does that make sense? A cold shoulder where you don't talk to them because you're pissed. Well, that's not really, that's not how you grow relationships. If you don't care about this person, that's one thing. But if you really care about someone, then don't put them out in the cold. That's just not kind. You have to be able to have conversations. So it's an invitation to let somebody come in out of the cold. Or yourself. Let yourself in from out of the cold. Because if this is talking about the eight of cold. The Eight of Cups is talking about walking away from old things to something that's more fulfilling. So if you have been feeling like you've been left out in the cold, it's time to come out of that energy and go towards something that feels good, that feels life-giving. And if you have been locking somebody out in the cold, they're going to move forward. They're going to walk away. You can't keep somebody on hold forever because they're going to walk away, okay? And then the other card that came out is the temperance reverse. So this is talking about coming into balance. This is about not being balanced. So you cannot, it's time to be generous is what I'm feeling. Like generous with yourself and generous with other people. And if you have locked somebody out in the cold, maybe just make peace with this person. Be generous with them. Be loving and kind. It's a, You don't have to be you don't have to remarry someone or you don't have to go back with someone, but you can be kind and generous. Because remember, this rune is talking about love, partnership, friendship, love, generosity. So really, I think the message for today is to be generous and be kind to people, you know, and but include yourself in that equation. You have to be you have to be willing to be kind to yourself. So if you are in a situation where someone's locked you out in the cold and you're waiting and waiting and waiting on them to come back, it's time to walk away to take care of your heart. And if you are being cold to someone else, it's time to thaw the ice and to just say, hey, you know what, I, I do care about you, but I don't think that we're going to be in partnership again or whatever. You know, have that final com conversation, but don't be cold and icy because that doesn't help anyone. That really doesn't help anyone. Nobody likes to be left out in the cold. So come out of the cold. So final advice or communication, please. Final advice, communication. Final message, please, for the for the collective. I just feel like it's about being generous. What that one might come want to come out. Oh wow, yeah, because someone's really up in their head about it. This is so stop thinking so much about things. This is somebody up in their head. They can't sleep at night. They're very anxious. So, what is the final message or advice, please? The Three of Cups, the Reunion card, the Making Peace card. The final advice is if you can, if it's up to you, be at peace with all people. Try to reunite with people. Try to celebrate and have fun and see the best in people. This is a Reunion card. So it feels like there's going to be a reunion or at least an invitation for a reunion. Look, that's a beautiful card, that Three of Cups. And it's talking about, this whole thing is about being generous. Being generous in relationships. Yeah, so let's go ahead and, wow, let's take that. You know what I feel? I'm feeling called to pull another rune. One more rune. What's the final message in the runes, please, about this reading? Being generous and kind to each other. Oh, wow, it's another X. So what does this mean? 
So this is talking about hardships. Everybody's having a hardship. Look, this is called Nothies. And it's talking about hardships, delays, uh, your needs, things that you need to survive. So everybody needs to be in relationship. That feels like, can you see that? Sorry, it's not very clear right there. There it is. So this rune goes beautifully with this reading because the first rune that we pulled was about generosity, relationships, love. And the last thing that we pulled here, the rune, is talking about needs, survival. Wow. So it's like everybody, we are humans in the human body and we're spirit beings and we all need love and generosity to survive. So this whole thing is talking about being locked out, of being abandoned and rejected to come out of that energy to move forward in reunion energy, to move forward, to walk away from things that don't fill your soul, to that walk away from things that hurt your heart, that make you feel lonely. Come out of this lonely energy, come out of the lonely energy, and really take care of yourself and try to be at peace with others. Try really as best you can to be generous with others, with love and light and peace and calm and just be the light of the world, right? And you that, that doesn't mean you have to be everyone's best friend or you don't have to reconcile with your old boyfriend or girlfriend or whoever. You don't have to like go back to do things that don't feel good, but be at peace with people and don't lock people out in the cold. That's just not cool, really, because we all need love and affection. We all need to be connected in spirit and love and you know, God does not, God in the greater sense, the universal energies, universal energies are to unite people, to heal people, to love people from a higher level of understanding, a higher level of consciousness, right? So it's also, I feel like a call to walk away from third dimensional thinking about people and to see people as beautiful beings of love and light and to treat them accordingly, you know? And bring forgiveness and compassion to people and generosity to people and situations. So anyway, I feel like there's a good thing coming. Just You just trust that Creator has good things for you. Be at peace with one another. The wheel of fortune is changing, turning for your favor. Continue to bring love and light into all things. And just trust that everything is perfect. Really, everything is perfect. But be love and light and bring generosity because we all need love and attention and affection on the deepest core levels. Yeah, just be kind to one another. Be generous to one another. Wow. Well, I receive it. It may not be easy, and it's what we need in the world today. So let's do a little prayer like any part of us that cannot seem to be generous or kind any part of us that's stuck in the past, that's feeling injured, triggered, angry, any part of us that's feeling like it cannot be generous, let's heal that part of us. And let's bring generosity to that part of us and our being. So we don't have to be right all the time. That we don't have to be vindicated. That we don't have to have that apology from somebody that did us wrong or whatever that storyline is. Let's just be generous in how we even tell the stories to each other. That we, let's just bring the most generous stories to one another. That we are all on the journey together on the planet and we're all here to support one another in one way or another. So I'm asking for all the angels of love and light to be with you, whoever's watching this right now that you would feel at peace, that you would feel loved, that your energy would be rejuvenated and regenerated, that your passions would be rejuvenated and regenerated, that you would come out of hiding if you've been hiding, if you, that you would even allow yourself to be seen again, if you have locked away your heart, your fire, your passion, let all your passions and your, your love and your 
joy. Come forward again. Because the planet needs you. The planet needs you. We all need you. We all need each other. So I'm asking all of us to show up in our highest self. All right, my dears. Well, blessings to you. Blessings, blessings, blessings. And I ask that you have a beautiful day. Thanks for being with me. And we'll see you again next time. Mwah. Besos. Gracias. Gracias por um, acompañarme hoy. And que tenga buen día. Dios te bendigan. Bye. Ciao, chicas. See you next time.